back to code tonight so in today's video we will see how we can implement custom filter attributes for user authentication in asp.net web mvc so uh, we often need to uh, implement user authentication in our project and what we have to do is we have to check on action level and sometimes on controller level whether it is whether user is authenticated or not so uh, we can use custom filter attribute for that purpose now what you have to do for that is uh, we have to add one new class file and you can name it authenticate user.cs okay so in this file i have inherited it it from action filter attribute over here and here i am overriding the own action executing method so uh, what it will do is whenever you will apply this attribute on any action on any controller okay so for example i have used it here so when i do this whenever i will call this action method then it will first call the uh, attribute from here okay so in the attribute it will be calling this method first because it is own action executing method so in this context you will have all the data whatever is coming from your url and so here what we can do is we can check if uh, uh, our login is valid or not okay so if you can store your values in uh, any cookie then you can actually check that your cookie value is matching from if your cookie value is there or not okay so um, what i used to check is uh, i used to check if the cookie value is not equal to zero that means that the user is authenticated but you can uh, choose your own way for validating if the uh, user is validated or not okay so basically if uh, the user is a valid login then it will return true in other case it will return a false from here so if the user is not authenticated then it will uh, redirect to the user login page you can change the url over here to any controller or action so if the user is not uh, login then it will be redirected to the login page like this okay so i will just run this and uh, show you how it works so i will apply this on about page here to show you okay so when i run the page it will run the index method okay so in that we don't have that attribute so it will run normally so you can see that uh, it is running normally over here so now when i try to move to home and about then when i press enter it will first go to the authenticate user attribute because we have applied this over here okay so now it come in here and it is now going to valid login method okay so here you can see that this value is not equal to zero so it will be returning the true from here and the page will load uh, normally okay so in case it will we again doing the same thing and so this time what i will try is i will move this to the false okay so just to show you what will happen in the false case okay so i will have to modify the value to zero in order to show you and the faults so now it will go to false and in that case you will see uh, it will go inside this and it will redirect to the user's login however i don't have this page in the project so it will give the error but you can see that it has redirected to the user login page so uh, this is how uh, you can apply the custom filter attribute uh, 
uh, on any action you can also keep the same on the controller level and then it will validate for every action available the uh, it, it will validate if it is login or not okay so this is how you can implement action filter attributes in asp.net web mvc if you have any confusion then you can comment on the uh, video and about the code if you need the code part then i will mention in the description but you can also go to our official website codetonight.com and here you will be able to find authenticated user login using custom filter in uh, asp.net mvc so you can open up this blog over here and you will be able to check out the code which i just showed you in the video so if you have any confusion then you can comment on the video thanks for watching guys